Good morning, traders. Welcome to the London Room. Uh, for those traders who were on YouTube, you will have this recording as the weekly outlook. So I want to remind you that we are going to be doing two weeks free access to the trading room. Please join. The links for that is on the last video I posted on Saturday. Please go find that video. The video will also be in the description of this video. Please find it. It might also be in the ending card. So at the end of this video, if you watch it to the end, you will probably get that uh, video there to watch. There are two links in the, the in the uh, description of that video. Record for, uh, please register for them. One for the London session, one for the New York session. Two weeks free. Now, I would also like you guys to really share that. Because the last time, a lot of traders who wanted to, to see it did not get to join us because they found the video like a week after we finish. And I got a few messages from traders that said, I just found it. Is the free thing still on? So please, the more people we can get it to, the more people will get access to it. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there who would like to join. It's free. No obligations. You just come and watch how we do it. So please, guys, it's up to you guys to get it this far. I, I'm sharing it on YouTube. I'm sharing it on Twitter. I'm sharing it on Facebook. And I'm sharing it on LinkedIn. You can do the same or you can find my videos on those, those um, apps and share it. That would be good. right? You can also share it on LinkedIn. I share it in about five groups that are trader groups on LinkedIn. On Facebook, I have about two groups that I share it on where traders are, Forex groups. Please share it as much as possible. All you're doing is sharing it. Traders will make their decision if they want to join us or not. But let's hope this time we don't, you know, we get, get it to everyone so that no one will regret seeing it a week later. Okay, so that's all I'm going to ask everybody. If you got it from somebody, please share it. Forward it to somebody else, right? And from that, we'll start straight into the webinar, right? Let's go. So I'm going to go to the dollar index. We're going to try to record fast because I'm still not absolutely healthy. And, you know, we're going to see where we go from there. So last week we had this. We were waiting for this and we got that. Right? That was news driven, but we got it. Exactly what we were looking for is what you got. I think you can see that there is a possibility for a repeat of that here. And then we will be looking for the buy as well. Right. Let's assume for a second, and this is always something you would do, especially when you look at a higher time frame and you're thinking, well, is it possible we're in a channel here right now? So if it is possible that we're in a channel, then there, there, there are many possibilities that start developing. One of them is, can we make another flat like this? Can this thing, instead of doing this smaller running flat, comes down much more deeper to this level and then go back up and then drop again? That's an option because you have one single impulse here. Remember what I said. We're also thinking, can this go much higher and then make a bigger flat like this before it drops, making this a much bigger one? So all those are possibilities, which means we will put an entry order for the buy. And unless it changes into something else, which means it comes lower, make a flag, we wouldn't be doing any sell. Right, so we're only looking for buy setup. So I just want to show you that it's possible that we could be doing this. And if they do a channel like this on the daily, you probably would be going much, much, much lower. This channel will continue for a very long time. Right. So, sorry, go back to the one hour, and we will go with the running flat as a possibility. Now, if this will, if this should become a sell setup, what I'll be looking for is not probably even the fifteen minute flag. Is let it come more. And come more, make a day, a hourly flag here, and then we'll consider. I would also like it to move at least this much. Let it drop this much, then make any flag. Because by, if they drop that much, there are two options. Go up or consolidate. Consolidate, we sell. Go up, we'll go with the running flat. Now, if there's any news event, no, <coughs> sorry, today no news event. Sorry, guys, you'll have to excuse the coffin. It's still there a little, not that much, but it's still there. Yeah. The, if, if we... <coughs> Sorry. Okay. If we don't have any news event, then there's a good chance it's better to trade very slow. Now, can we sell this from here to here? I don't think it's a good idea because if they're making an extended running flat, this would not go far. This would become a small flag. Small flag. Small flag. Come back here, give you the running flat, and then go. So a buy here too is not really a good idea without it coming here. So you wanted to go there first, and then you go for the buy setup. So let's see, we'll wait for that. We're looking at a buy setup. 
Silver, same thing. Silver actually is slightly different than the rest of them, and I'll show you why. We could possibly still be in an expanding flat here, right? Take this, and if you go with one, two, three, as an expanding flat in there, this could possibly still go up. That is a possibility. I'm not saying it will, but that's a possibility we have to keep in mind. Now, <clears throat> if we exclude that possibility, then there are numerous possibilities where we're looking for a very deep pullback like this. See? So maybe a little more drop there, and then this could also go up, putting this as a bigger running flat in play. All right? So that's another possibility that exists. Or this is actually coming much deeper, possibly even retesting the low. Not that I think they will, but that's a possibility. So we'll go back to the one hour. You notice that there was a flag here that was broken. Right? There was a flag here. And remember, I'll always say this. When you move this much, expect them to just break the low and then correct deeply. We're correcting this move here. So there's a very good chance that this correction could be deep. Right? There's also a chance that they drop one more and then go. So we would look for the cell setup now if we get it. If I, I don't think we have a cell setup as yet because I think this was a small flag that was broken. We drop here. So this would be the first move up. If this is going to make a cell setup, you'll have to get some kind of a consolidation here. You want it to come back to the low. You want it to go back. And now you get a good cell setup. So it could stay here for a longer period of time. And then we will consider if we want to buy this. Right? But if it actually stays at the top here, We'll buy it. We'll absolutely buy it. So anywhere that it's in the first half of it that you get a consolidation, that's a buy. If it comes deeper, then we let it go back up and then we look for the sell setup. So as of now, I think we can assume that it's going to be a buy, which means I think it might just pull back deep into this or probably all of this. If it stays flat like this, if it stays here at the bottom, it will sell. So for now, no trade. We, I wouldn't put an entry here because I think this is a separate one. This doesn't belong to the whole consolidation. That's just a separate one. So we'll wait now. Let's wait and see. I'll just take them out because we're waiting. Gold, I think gold we can put a sell. You see the difference with gold? There wasn't a flag we broke. We were actually in the consolidation. So you could put a sell here. Now, this move has moved quite a lot away from that consolidation, which means that there is a small flag here at the bottom. And we're moving away from it. Sometimes if you get another flag here, we're going to continue to go. If it comes back down here, it might break out or it might just go back up depending on how it comes down. If it comes fast, that's a sell setup. So we'll put the sell. We're going to put a sell under the loan. We're going to put this aggressive sell, which means if this drops through the bottom, you want the trade. right? You'll probably get one like this. Maybe a little smaller than that, right? If instead of that, sorry, if instead of that it comes like this, we're going to buy this. Because then we will go back up. This will become one piece. This will become another piece. We'll go back up for a third piece, and we don't know how high that will go. So right now, it's more of a waiting process. Don't try to buy these small ones at the top here. It's not confirming any big move to the upside as yet. So gold, we have a sell. Let's see what the euro has. Euro also is getting a sell set up. You're literally consolidating here for a couple hours. See? That's hours and hours of consolidation. So we will put an entry at the bottom there for the sell. Now, this one is not as big as this. So the assumption is that this is still part of this one. And if we do get that trade and it does drop through the bottom here, we'll have to be very cautious because it might just drop to the bottom and then start for, for this one or for reversal. Now, <laughs> Oh my God, it's not good. Wait a second. It was pretty good all day, all morning. So we don't have anything to put this with, right? Nothing at the back here. See, absolutely nothing. So there's some, and I think even we'll have to go back really, really, but we still don't have all the way to the bottom here. We have nothing. So the assumption is we're either making one like this here now or a much bigger one, right? This is the first impulse though. So the sell will have to be very, very cautious, right? You'll have to follow the rules on the sell to get out fast because the first impulse could either do this 
or it could do this and then start going back up. I think there'll be a very good chance of getting break get out for break even there. Right? I wouldn't I wouldn't not take the trade because of that. We should take it and see where it goes. Now, the better thing for us is if they consolidate more, because that would give you a better trade. But this is a good trade setup. So we'll go with the sell. Pong, you also have a very good sell setup here. A lot of hours of consolidation. If it drops and it doesn't go very far, I think we can get break even out of those. But the question with Pong is, so I don't think Pong will go. I think we might, Pong might be an indication of what we could literally see. I think we're literally going to start to see really, really, really deep pullback, right? Maybe even a sudden spike and then, you know, bigger flat here, right? That's possible because this was not a sharp move down. This wasn't really a sharp move up. And this coming down does have a flat here. We can see that flat there, right? See this? It does have a flat there. So there's a good chance we should go back and test the top. A very good chance for that. Either we can go back and test the top, but we don't have a buy setup. So if this drop, we'll have to be careful. I don't think it's going to drop very far if it drops. All right, so we'll keep an eye on it, but it's a good sell. At least the sell setup is not bad. So we'll keep it and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, Aussie doesn't have a sell setup, right? This is pretty sharp. This is pretty sharp. So let's go into four hour and see one hour and see what Aussie has. This is the top. So we can look at deeper corrections because we don't have anything to go with that. I don't think this is perfect. Everything else looks good. So all of these are pretty much set. So I think this is the first of a deeper correction this forming. We might end up with a more kind of something like this here. Maybe even all the way to the top, come back here and then go. So something like this is possible. I see the length of the first one is similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get another one like that. And then we go. I don't think we're trying to go down. And, you know, I don't think they're trying to retest the low. But in any case, you're getting corrections here. So let's see. Is there a chance for a buy setup? Mm, not really. There is even a chance we could retest the low. There's a possible running flat forming here. We could retest this low and then go back up. Can we sell it? Not as yet. This is this range is huge. So if we get a flag within the range, we might consider the sell of the flag to break the low, put it to break even, see how far this goes. And then if it starts to go back up, get it to the buy. So, or if this consolidates here, then we consider the buy. So if we get a consolidation here, we might consider the buy for a deeper upside. New Zealand definitely looks like a sell setup. I don't think it's ready to go. There's a chance this one is coming here, making a flat, going back up, and then either drop or make another flag and keep going up. What's the bigger picture? This could go up. If we're going to buy anything, we're buying this. So here's what I'm going to put look for a buy setup. We don't have a buy setup, but if we're buying anything, we're definitely buying this one because there's a high probability that this could belong to this as a one. And it's not, not because of the sharpen. It's also because we have this in the middle here. You notice all of them are the single first drop. Euro is a single first drop, uh, except for silver. Uh, gold is a single first drop. This is the only one. This is not the first drop. It's a top, but we got this in here. And I think Pong has a similar structure like this with a deep correction, right? Mm -hmm. So Pong has a lot of correction going down this piece here before that drop. Euro, nothing. That's a single drop. I think gold, nothing. That's a single drop. Silver has. Silver has this. You can probably still make an argument for this being an expanding flag. Or it's a single drop. So silver is both ways. Aussie, single drop. Right? There's nothing at the back. There's no consolidation in here. So there's a sharp move up and a sharp reversal. So if we get sell setups, these are good ones. If you get buy setup, this is the best one. Because we can make an argument for this. So we can go here, look for buy setups, and then say, well, yeah, this looks like a good buy setup because of that. So what you want to do is you want this to pull back. You literally want this to pull back here, make a flat. And then we see if we get this straight. 
right? Now this trade could go far, especially if it becomes a running flat. If this actually goes up a little more and then pull back like this, we will trade it as a running flat. The worst case is that it comes here, tag you and start to, you know, stay here like for a deeper pullback to downside, a deeper consolidation. I think we're going to get break even in that case. So it could be a tradable one. We look for buy setups. Cat. I think we can look for sell setup. I don't see this breaking out of that structure. Although we're in a big sideways move, taking this and this into consideration, I don't see this breaking out. So there's a good chance we will retest the low. Where we can sell it? Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So we'll just have to wait. Right? There's no sell, there's no buy setup on that. Swiss. Okay, went back to the top of the channel. We did break the low. We used this as a counter, but turned out it went up. The only one we bought was the yen. And we're at the top of the channel now. So the question is, are we going to break out or are we coming back to the low? I would go with breakout. This is a sharp move down. After a sharp move down, you get correction. After every sharp move down, you get correction. You get correction. You get correction. Even after this was the only one that went up, that was down. And you see what happened? That became an impulse. They dropped. That ended this structure. That bigger correction dropped. I think this one was relatively sharp. And it came down really, really slow. Right? So at, at some point, I thought this would go back up there to complete this flat and then drop. So we don't have anything. Can we look at this as a possible running flat? Maybe. We can make an argument for one, two, three. One, two, three, a bigger running flat like that, and then this one drop. Right, that possibility exists, but I think it's unlikely. We'll probably just put this one as a smaller correction of its own. It's not as sharp as this, that's for sure. So, what we'll do here now is wait to see if we have any buy setup. And you want this to come back a little more, just about this. And we can go with a running flat. I think we had a running flat here as well for the buy. So we'll put, we can actually put the entry order now. It's relatively equal. Put an entry order above the top there for the buy. If they take off, I think if, if we were trading this as a channel, the entry order would have gone here. Right above the last impulse. That's the rule. So it, it's a big channel. We wouldn't trade this channel. We're going to be trading this. We'll put a stop here. We're going for this trade. And if that breaks out, perfect. If it's going to be a sell setup, we'll have to wait for it to come down some more. Make a flag here. And then we're selling that flag to retest this low. Just like this flag was sold to retest this low. And I think there was about one earlier here. All right, so let's see. We're going to see if we get this trade here. We'll still be in the channel. We'll put as a buy setup here now. That's a buy. And then we'll see where that goes. Yen. I think it's time for the downside. So, so far, so good. Let's take this out now. So we've got one, one, two, three. We can go with the argument that this one is three. If we get this as a one, two, three here, depending on how you look at this piece, you can look at this as a one, Two, three, I think this is the bigger correction. So we're looking at this as a possible one, two, three there. Which means we have to come down and go back up, right? So we have to come down here. That is this one. This one is pretty sharp, so I'll bring it here. This one is hoping it comes back here. And then this one is going up. Now, this might come down slower. We can put it like this, and then we're expecting that to go back up. And the big picture is this. Take this off. Let's pull this all the way to the end. And this is what we have, right? So we can take this out. We're expecting it to come back here. Go to the 50 minutes. We actually don't have a cell setup. It did come back and tag this top here. So serious. We'll either look for this as the top or this is a flag. We go, we break the top and then come back. Right? I don't think this is going to take off, so we're not going with a buy. But anywhere under this low here, anywhere under this low, it comes down, it makes a flag, we're selling. So we're looking for a sell setup on this, not a buy. We're looking for a sell setup. Anywhere we get a flag now becomes a buy. 
I sell, sorry, for the downside. So far, it's doing what we wanted to do, right? So we should just continue with that. Nothing is changing. And Susian. Okay, it came down a little here. And here we have a problem. We didn't break the low, right? So two things. Can we go with this as a contracting flat? And that's the top. Or is this still the correction and we're coming down for this one? In both say in both cases, you're coming down, right? So you're either now coming down for this move and we'll go back up, or this is the contracting flat. That is the top, and we're actually going to drop. Right? So we go into one hour. And now we look at this and we said, okay, we've got this big correction here. We either look at this as a contracting flat here, which means this is downside, or we assume that we're still in the correction here, and this would just come back here, go back up there, and then drop. So we're looking for cell setups. Go back to the 15, let's see if we have anything there. And just like the yen, we did break this top. We did tag that top, see? So this could be the top. And there might be a small flag or something. If that's the top, wait for a flag here, sell it. Wait for a confirmation of the flag because if this is some kind of a weird running flat here, it would go back up one more before it comes. But we're not looking for the sellers yet, right? So we're looking for the downside. So wait for the, uh, we're not looking for the bias if we're looking for the downside, sorry. So let's go with wait for a sell setup. And that probably would be the same thing on all the end pairs. Let's go back here. Yeah, literally that should be the same thing on all the end pairs. Now, what if this was the low? What if this was the this this one, right? If that was it, this was the low and this is trying to go up, which is what we thought, right? When we were looking at it, we wanted to come and break this low and then go back up. So let's assume we completed that flat, right? And now it's going up. So it can be two things. Either it's going up or this is a bigger correction for downside. That by itself is a separate bigger correction for downside. So you got this flat, you got another flat here, and then we drop. Let's see. Go to the one hour. It's coming down, but again, two options available. We did break that up, so we can assume that this here is a smaller flat of its own in here, and all of them will have something like that there. And this is trying to come down. Or this is making an expanding flat. Running flat, sorry, maybe expanding flat and then go back up. It's easy. The cell will have to be flat. Wait for the flag cell. So you wanted to break this low, make a flag, sell. Simple flag like this would be enough. Sell, right? Now, if they're going to go back up, let it come here and start to go back. And we buy it if that happen. I think in this case, we can buy. No, don't buy us yet. They will have to give you a flag, a flat this size before you buy. So you would definitely need a big flat. This would be the first impulse down. Or even if this is a smaller one, it will probably get what, bigger and then we'll get a buy setup. You need something like this. Because buying at the top there without that. So we're looking for a sell setup. Comes back to the same thing. Look for a sell setup. New Zealand, yeah. Okay. If there's a buy setup to come, it's going to be on this one, but I don't think it's coming. I think we're just gonna work our way down here for a while and then go back up. So we can stay out of this or you can trade it very short term. Look for downside. I'd look for downside in it. I don't, I'm not sure we have any cells set up there. Nope. So just wait. Here I am. Go in the one hour. Okay. I think we will go with this as the B part. One, two three so now we need a one two three down we need a one two three down we need one more up and then we have a perfect flat for downside can we get a sense that up here absolutely go back there see if we have anything to sell not as yet like all of them they could still make one more up this could still be one more up all right so Let's wait and see, or if it makes a flag. So we'll just leave that alone. Aussie yen. This is similar to what we have in the New Zealand yen. So I think we're just going to work our way down some more. This might be the B part of it eventually. Go back up there. Come back down. Go back up. Come back down. Maybe this would be the drop. Yeah, that would complete this one up. 
So let's see. Or there might be more up to that. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes on it. Pang in? Yep, this one should be pretty simple. Look for a buy setup. Wait for a flag here, go for the buy. We're, we're going to try to retest these tops. Pretty much in that. It could get a little more complex in here, depending on how we look at this this one and how we look at that one. Right? Because if this just works at waiter and come back sharp here and then go back up, we'll definitely go with this as the flat, as a complex flat, making this one, two, three, going back up for this one, coming down back for that one, going back up for this and then drop. So I think a lot of the yen pairs might have a similar complex pattern like this. But this one is pretty simple. So let's see, do we have a buy setup here? If there's any buy setup risk taking, this might be one. This one could be a good buy. So we can literally put an entry order here now for the buy, make it an aggressive buy. Something like that. You're in New Zealand, let's see. Buy was amazing. If it closes and re-enter here, you got another good buy there. So this one was good. Take that out. Let's go. Okay, here's the problem. I don't think this is the one taking off. Right? Because it's, it's it doesn't fit to whatever the hell this whole flat is. You can make an argument for two flats. You can make an argument for one contracting flat in there. And you can make an argument for one regular flat here, something like this. That would be two separate flats and two flats that don't make sense. We can make an argument for this being a complete correction of its own. That's a move up. This is a sharp move and you now you get this flat. And if you go with that argument, then this becomes more complex because we have to come back down like this to complete this one and then it can take off. It can be even more complex than that. So I think we just wait. Look what, take every trade one at a time, take it in short term even, and see where it goes in there. Right now, we don't have anything. I'll take this out. I know we don't have anything. We don't have a buy. We don't have a sell setup. Just wait. We'll eventually see which one it is. Your cat. Okay. So it's more like a one, two, three. You can make an argument for this. You got one down. You can make an argument for this here for two. So you get one, two, three up. You can make an argument for this here for this one. So you get one, two, three down. This one is pretty sharp, right? So you can make an argument one, two, three, we're finished. We're going up, right? Or we might repeat this one, two, three, come back here and then go. And right? we can do both of those, which means this is a buy setup. Now we should probably break the low because we didn't break the top, right? If, if the top is not broken, then very likely this would come and break the low. So go back here, there might be a short-term sell setup. You'll probably still see one more drop and then go up. Now, if it's a contracting flat, we definitely don't have a buy setup in this. We'll have to let it go some more, make a flag and then go for the trade. But it could be. Better for us is if they break the slow. Because then the, the buy becomes a more better buy, with a, you know, a safer buy in that sense if you break the low. So let's see if this breaks the low and then we go for the buy. Euros. Okay, we're kind of in a weird place here. And if you look at this whole structure, it's not making a lot of sense. You know, a lot of corrections happening within this range. 
even if you put this separate of its own, this down move was slow, that down move was slow, this down move was even slower. So until that whole thing finished what it's doing there, you really wouldn't know what it, the bigger direction it's going. But for now, I think we can go with the double side. So let's see if we have any cells set up. Nope, not as yet. But we might get one today. If this makes a flag here, this is a perfect cell setup. We'll go with this straight for the down side. That's it. We definitely don't have a buy setup, so we'll just have to wait. We don't have divergence between these two. If this actually consolidates here more like to the top there and come back like this with a flat, we're going for that trade. With a flag here, we'll sell. But if we get a flat like this, similar to this, we're going for the buy. Euro Swiss. Okay, the buy setup was okay. It didn't break out. So we'll probably come down once more. There's a good chance we're going to come down once more. We don't have any trade. Not for the buy, not for the sell. So we'll wait. This might give you a flat here. This could give a flat if it actually, you know, kind of come here and pull back and give you this running flat. We'll probably go for the sell. But right now we don't have any trade. The bigger picture would be upside, but it's not ready as yet, so we'll wait. What if this is not a running flat and we're making a flat here now? This thing has a lot of correction in it. Like really, really slow. Europa. Okay, that's a lot of side, so let's see. I'm not sure where we put this one. That sharp move in the middle there, this one here. It doesn't fit with anything else. It's kind of like standing alone. Okay, let's see if we get a running flat with it. This could probably come back here for a running flat, go back up. This would make a running flat. And then go back up. So I think we can look for cell setups here. That's the problem. But you want the, you want a correction like this. So you want something like that to go with running flat, if we're going with running flat. First, we have our own running flat here to deal with, which is this one. And this doesn't look like the one coming down. So this might go back up, come back here, give you this running flat. Go one more up, and then we look for this downside. Stay away from it for now. We don't have any trade setup that is perfect. Bang Oz. What's the big picture? We have a lot of divergence here. So I think this could be either one sharp move up here like this. And that would be a perfect running flat. Or it just makes one more correction like this. Go there, come back here. And then go for this one. So which of those two? Let's go. One hour. In the 15, what it looks like. I think we might be going with a running flat. I don't think this here makes a flat, but I wouldn't be surprised either. We look, we look at this as a running flat. Come on. Or these are separate corrections of their own. We look at this here as a running flat. That's a top. Or we look for a running flat here. Either of those would give you a trade to the upside, right? Either of those, if they're running flat, would give you a trade to the upside. If we look for it like this, also possible, also upside. So take this out and wait. I think the only one that could possibly be downside would be this one. This here could be, if you make one, two, three, then this could come down. So what we do here is this already make a flag. Let's see if we get another flag here. Then we'll take that trade down. If it doesn't become a flag, then this would have to go up some more, make a flag here, 
and then we'll consider this an upward or a flat like this. So we wait, both sides possible here. Wait for the trade setup. From New Zealand, let's see the big picture. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, that's a good reversal from there. I actually like that reversal. Really sharp, upside possible. A lot of divergence, really slow trades. Go back to the one hour, look for a flag buy. We didn't really get a flag. Let's see in the 15. Did this break the low? We broke the low there, so we'll have to go with a really, really slow downside. i probably put this as a running flat. That's the closest with this one. That's the closest we can get to something. If this is a huge expanding flat there for downside, we don't have a sell setup. But we can get a buy setup once this is completed. All right, this needs to come down back here, go back up there, come down back here, and then when you get this, that becomes a buy. But we can put an entry order above the top if it's a contracting flat and they're actually taking off. Now, the stop for that will have to be, don't put a stop here because they can come back to this level. You'll have to increase the risk of the stop here. You're not going to let it come back and take you out, but that's the possibility. So I think the buy setup here is better and the bigger picture, it looks more upside, much more upside. So we can go with an aggressive buy there and wait. Let's see, punk ad. That sell was good. Let's see if we have, well, we're quite at the bottom of this move. So we should probably go back up also within this range. Now we go to the bottom of this one, come down here. There's a good chance you want to go back up there and then come back here. See, <laughs> 15 minutes. We have a reversal. That is this one. Whatever this was, we broke the low, we came back, you're getting a running flat here. So I'd say let this pull back here and go for that trade. You have to get a pullback because we don't have any pullback into it. See the one hour is just showing you one, two, three candles. So you either get wait for a one hour flat, one hour correction, or if we're going with this one, you want this to pull back here and then go for the trade. But it's a buy setup, so we can wait for a buy setup there. I think we have it as a buy setup, Pong Swiss. That's the bigger picture. Probably gonna drop some more, it needs to break this low. I don't think they'll go up, go up as a contracting flat. So we'll wait, let it break the low. We don't have a sell setup that is good enough there for to trade. Okay. Not enough. This is kind of making some weird one. If if it consolidate good enough here, then we'll put an entry in there, put a stop here and take the last drop to the downside. But it's more of a sell setup. Aussie cat. See, they're, they're all looking different directions. It might not be a pound movement. So we'll come back and we'll look at all the pound trades with the pound dollar and see which, which one is it. This one is good for a buy. You just need to get it running flat. If we get a pullback here, put a buy setup here for the next move up. Let's see what the big picture is. Still looks upside. We can make an argument for this one. And this could go up. That makes sense. So we could, we could do that. So wait for the buy setup. Wait for it to pull back, put it as a buy. Put it as an aggressive buy actually, but you want to wait for it to pull back first. Don't jump in the trade. Wait for this to happen. Put an entry here. What if it's going down? Well, you, you can't sell it. You wouldn't sell that, right? That doesn't make sense to sell. You can sell this, but you can't sell this. See, so, but definitely we're going for a buy setup there. 
Aussie, New Zealand, okay. A buy is over, it's still in the consolidation. You might still get one more buy. I still think when we test the top in this big consolidation, we'll probably test the top. That's it. Can it become more complex? Of course, it's a consolidation. You get much more complex than that. I don't, I don't, I don't like the buy setup because the, the bigger picture is the downside. So I think we just leave it alone. Aussie Swiss. Okay, take this out. This is a relatively sharp move down. That was super sharp. But we're coming down, not so sharp, and definitely not very corrective as well. So if we put this like this, can we be possible? This would not be a running flat because. This one here doesn't have a big correction in it. But this could be the start of a running flat, this here. So that looks more upside because it's corrective. So we're going to trade this. I'll trade that as a correction now. See this one, how deep it pulled back. You got another pullback there. Right here. It's likely going to go up. Let's wait for a flag or a flat and then go with it. And we might get one here. Probably want this to come down a little more here. Go for running flat and then go for that one. Ensure the hair, stop here, and we're going to break this stop. We might break out of it. So we'll put this as an aggressive buy. It's going to come down a little more, and then we'll put the ensure the hair. Just a little more. You don't want it to go too much. You want it to be an equivalent of this, more or less an equivalent of this. a little higher. New Zealand CAD sells it up. Okay, the first sell was good. The second sell would be good. I think we're going to go more downwards. I am not sure whether all of this would be one big consolidation. Doesn't look so to me. If this looks like a separate big flat of its own. Would this go back up? It should go back up, but you're getting a sell set up here. The bigger picture is definitely upside. But you're getting, if this pulls back here, we're going to be at the bottom. So it will go back up, but I don't think they're going to go very far because of the bigger flat at the bottom here. Unlike what we have in the two Aussie beers. Right, this one is more of a big flat at the bottom, so we'll not take the chance of selling that. So we'll just wait. New Zealand Swiss. We're outside of something, so let's see what, what is it. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get this move down, so there's still more to go. Put it like this. Put it like that. We still have to come and break the low. So sell setup. Go with this as a correction. I know we're going for a sell setup. We might eventually take this whole thing here as a big expanding flat. This one. One, two, three. So you get an up move, you get a big flat, you get an up move, you get a big flat, you get an up move. And all of that is in here. Now, correction. This looks relatively sharp. I don't know whether we put that as a correction. If this goes back up, we might even look at a running flat or downside. Let's go into 15. More of a sell setup. Let it come down. Let this come down. Go back up. Give us a flat here. And we're going for that trade. One more down and then the upside. Cat switch. Buy setup. We'll go with an expanding flat here. And if we're wrong, and the way we can be wrong is this is the flat. This here is the flat. This is the top. And we are going down. Wait for a flag here. The flag has to be under there. Wait for this flag and then we sell. So for now, we treat it as an expanding flat, put an entry above the top. If we're going down, you will never be tagged by that. That would never tag if you're going downwards, right? Now, is there potential for upside? Yeah, there is. A lot of it too. Now you can make an argument that this is all the correction. It's not a good one. 
and we're going up, or we can make an argument for we're coming here. We're going to come back and retest this low. We're going to come back here, retest this low, then go up. <coughs> Any of those would be correct, sorry, guys. Natural gas. Okay, looks like we're getting the upside now. A little pullback would be a good buy setup. You want us to pull back a little here now? And then we'll go with this for the buy setup. It's, it's strange that they're going so slow. Because normally we'd want them to reverse this. You'd want them to go fast like this and then start to make that correction. So if this comes really deep, we'll get another drop. It could drop one more. And if this starts to look more like this, we'll go for the sell setup. Take that out for now. US oil. Okay. So it consolidated the bottom, you sell. All right? If it makes a sharp move and make a flag, then you buy. Came back here, go there, come back, and sell setup. Let's go. We're out of that structure now. So there's a likelihood. Two things you're looking for. This structure is irrelevant. Because if you're doing this one, then this can still go back up and then drop, completing this one, right? But if we're going down, any consolidation here would be good. So you at least want the one or consolidation, not a small one. You want the bigger consolidation. You want this to stay here for a much longer time. And now this becomes a good sell setup. So New York session, if it stays there, that's a good sell. If you sell this 15 minute flag, it will probably come here, tag you, and then go back up. Because the upside is still possible. We have to exclude that possibility with a very good flag, right? The bigger picture is still downside. That has not changed. Remember we said the bigger picture is downside. We're just looking at what this consolidation is gonna be. Running flat looks very good to me. This being a running flat in here is a good argument to watch that go back up and then drop. It makes sense. So let's see, wait for this flag here before you sell. It would be same thing here, right? This could be a running flag that goes back up. Wait for a flag of the one hour, and I mean a really good flag before we sell. Don't sell a smaller or 15 minutes flag, so don't do that. Wait to confirm that there's a good flag before for the sell. If it's gonna go up, we don't have a buy setup. See this pullback into this one here, sharp? Oh, this doesn't have the sharp pullback, sorry. I thought I saw a sharp pullback here. This could be a buy setup. Right, if this stays here, come back here, put a buy above the top and see if they take off. So this could be a buy setup. If it comes lower, then you pull the buy. But you just want it to come a little. So we just want this to come a little like this. And then we put a buy setup. If it goes, tag you and stay here, close the trade if it drops. If this come lower into this level, we'll look for the sell setup. We'll look for the bigger flat. So this could be an aggressive buy right now. I don't think we have the same thing in US oil. Yeah, we do in the 15 actually. We have the same kind of a setup here. See? So you can put an entry order here for an aggressive buy. But if this comes deeper into this, we pull that. All right, make sure if it comes deeper, you pull it. Because that is making a flat. S&P 500, let's see. Okay, we can, we do have a running flat here. So you got to move down. You got a perfect running flat, you're coming down. Now all of this together is a correction for upside. Right, every time you see that, the only thought process you should have is that's a correction for one more up. So the question is, where do we get the buy setup? Now, can a big flat at the top there still come much deeper? Well, it's possible. We have seen it happen, but it's rare. So we're not going to go with any sell at the bottom here. Definitely not. We'll just wait for this to finish. Go back up, take a flag buy. If you're going to drop more and make a flag here, maybe then we consider it. I mean a really big one. So that is more of a buy setup we're looking for. I'll wait for a flag for a buy. NASDAQ, pretty much the same thing. 
The difference with this is that we would have to go with this being an expanding flat. Because if you look at it, you look at it this way. One, two, three. This is gonna be one, two, three. So this is a running flat in here, but the one inside of that is an expanding flat. And then this becomes a one, two, three. It's, we broke the top also, so it's a running flat. It means we expect this to go up. So let's see if we get biceps. Yes, starting. I think it's clear we're getting a bicep up here. I don't know how far that is going to go because this has been a lot of correction going on here and they don't really go far. So we'll see. Next. Okay, we want this to come back at least like this, but you're not really getting the best cell set up here. Nope. Leave it for now, HK50. Oh, this had a perfect cell set up here. Wait for another flag cell. Let's see what the big picture is. The big picture is going down finally. Wait for another, we we're actually breaking through this structure. See that? Now it could be that this is doing this and then it will go back up, but if you get a flag cell. Nifty? Yep, cell set up. Maybe even put an entry right here. Put a stop above this one here. Because I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to running flat. Come here, go back up like that, do this, and then drop. All right now it's downside. Bitcoin. Okay, we made a new high, we're coming down. Let's see. No setup as yet. Not for the buy, not for the sell. If it, if it will be a sell setup, we would want this to start to make a flag. Pretty good one too. And then that becomes a sell setup. Something like this. Maybe a little smaller than that, but something like that. That would convincingly be downside. You're getting some small flags in there, but that's not enough. Especially as you come to the bottom of this structure here, right? This one. As you come there, the, that those small cells are irrelevant. The small cell would have been trying to sell, I don't know, this one. Maybe trying to sell this one that would have given you a break even. So nothing. Just wait. Can we look for a buy setup here? Possible. Wait for it to go up, make a flag, and then buy. ETH. ETH more like a sell setup. This was looking like a sell. Came back to the top. You look at this, and that looks like a buy now, right? See, we've actually done this. We've come back there. We've come here. They could either go or they could go back there, come here again. But it's still a buy setup. OMG, still a buy. You kind of pull back, you go there, you might even pull back one more here, but then it's still a buy setup. And where are we heading for? Well, just totally going up, this was the low. So that consolidation there makes sense. Let's go, XRP. I think we're coming down, but still a buy setup. We kind of break out, we didn't get to that level. So we're going to put this like this. And still, you'll have to wait for a buy right above the stop here still. Um, can we sell this down if we get a flag here to drop to this level here? You can do that. But then that's a buy. As of now, we're looking at it as a buy. Can it drop faster and become a sell? Mm, yeah, possible. What's the big picture? The big picture is coming back to this stop. So this coming back here and then making this flat could be a trigger to the upside. See, this one here became a very good trigger to the downside. 
There was a flat before that. You can see there's one more there. This one actually didn't go very impulsive. Now you can make an argument you had this big correction here. Get a flag, and then they actually went up. So yeah, this, this buy setup is good. I like it. It might not go now, but it's it's still looking upside. Let's see. LTC. As long as we're in this thing here going, we'll we'll go for the upside. Let them break that structure, make correction, then we go for sales. Okay, this has to come off, and we have to look at it this way. All of this is just correction. So the whole structure would look like this. And this here is making some kind of a slow running flat there that might go back up one more, but then definitely looks downside. I don't see them taking off. We kind of got this covered. We're gonna get, get this here. One, two, three. I think one, two, three should be okay. Let's go back to the one hour. Back to the top. Not as yet. Let it break out. Let it actually break out of this, make a flag here, and then go for this. But they can still go back up. Right? Do you see how many pull back? Sharp, 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 sharp. It's still go. There's still a lot more to go. So keep it like this. And we will look for the sell when it breaks out. The buy, not a good idea. ADA. These are buys. I think this one, you should be out of that already or put it to break even if you're in that one. And it definitely looks more upside. And this is coming down sharp. The CD went up sharp and come down sharp. But there's a chance that, you know, this is all still correction before we go. Can this structure drop? Absolutely. You can always get a sell set up here or a deeper correction and then go. Right, it could come here, make a deeper correction, then go, or totally drop. I'm not expecting it to totally drop. This is the low. Right, that's a very good low. So on the bigger picture, no reason to drop. It could just continue to go. That is the lowest point. So I don't see any reason for this to drop. We don't have any sharp wave like this anywhere. This is corrected, this is corrected, this is correct. There's a big flap. The sharp one belongs to that sharp one, so it's pretty clear. Take that out. Pretty clear we're looking for more upside. This might be a bigger correction, but we don't have any cell set up. So wait. Link. I want to try to go fast because we're already too long on this. This could be cell set up short term. Take that out. MP. Oh, so we have this, and we're getting this. I think it's clear for downside. Right? This might go up there, but then it's downside. So short-term upside, long-term downside. OK, this one dropped already. Right, this would have been a good sell. If anybody saw this, that's perfect. You saw that there for the sell. That was perfect. See, so what you're going to look for is you're going to expect it to come back to this lonely. And from here, don't figure out what it's doing. So we're in that channel, take this off. Up, down, up, pull back. I think this would still be one piece and you're coming back down for this one. So it come down a little, it could still go back up. Can that be a running flat for upside? Possible. To make an argument for a running flat for upside. I know we have at least one more to go to get to this stop. Right. We should get one more move up to get that one. One more move up, and then that could be a good downside. That's it. Keep your eyes on it. At the bottom there, the only way we sell it is if we break through that structure and make a correction.
Okay, this one is definitely not clear. I see a running flat here. So I think this could go up one more. It's not really a clear picture, so we'll just wait and see. But I'll definitely put this as a running flat. So let's wait and see maybe one more up. Autumn? It's breaking out, and I think we need to come and retest this top. So more upside. I can see this going more there, and then we'll come down. And BNB, let's go. We just have a few more. We're going to finish them. Downside, even if this goes up anywhere more, it's still downside. And dash. It's climbing up, but really slow. Looks more downside. If we get a flag here for a sale, that's good. Okay, this looks upside. This is going really sharp. Really sharp move. This trade would have been a break even. It didn't really go where you wanted to go. So let's call that a break even. Take that out. And I think we're kind of in a channel here. Either we go with a flat and, well, this didn't go up, so that would not be a flat. We just wait, nothing in there. This could be a big correction for upside and all, but it's not moving really fast. Let's end the daily. That could be the start of the upside. Go back to the forum and see if we have anything there that makes sense. Nothing except putting this one like that. And wait. I think it's a buy, so we wait. And this is the same thing. You took the trade, you get some profit or break even. And it's doing mostly this. If you take that out, it's doing mostly this. Kind of channeling. So we'll wait. Those channels are either running flats or upside or downside. So do we have more upside here? Let's see. Yeah, why not? A lot of upside, especially if this is the low. And that can be the low, if you look at it this way. One move correction, one move correction, one move bigger correction upside. A good running flat first. So wait to see if this starts to give you a buy setup from anywhere at the bottom here. That'd be a good trade. Let it drop a little more, go back up, make a flag and buy. Any buy setup we get will take a trade. Sales will wait until we break that structure and consolidate. It's okay, we managed to finish all of them. It's quite a lot, I know, especially the, the cryptos. So I'll stop this.